There you go, number 34. Swamp cooler for you. Thanks a lot. Hey, Johnny. Big Dave. Paddle red. Cheeks are burning. Beans are out. Johnny, breaker one nine. Ricky's dipping into the jar. Firing him out. Dotto's about to serve a whirly derby. You hear that, Sylvia? Your daughter's got her boyfriend wound up again. Don't blame me. That's the Brazilian in her. I'm 100% Mexicana. I hear that. Hey, Johnny, that Scottsdale crew's inside. Trust funders on roids. Hey, man, our rifles, they're just a stroll away. Everything's good, fellas. Talk your ass again, I'll kill you, man. It's OK, babe. Got a call, Bert. I don't like this shit. This guy's really pissing me off, you know? Really? You know? That's it. Oh, God, oh, oh, oh. Why you got to be such a hard-ass stand? Mind your own damn business and go find your has-been boyfriend. Who's the has-been? Johnny Dunn? Is that his name? I forgot. You know what else you forgot? You're not in Scottsdale. This isn't club shit for brains. Hey, we're all has-beens here. Mm. Right, Johnny? Absolutely. Let's stop all this match of bullshit. Need some jalapenos. Let's get ready. Jalapenos! Becky said to give you a big hug. That's not a big hug. That's a shoulder crunch. I'll show you a big no, hug. I remember. She said shoulder crunch. That's right. Hey, next one's on me. Line one up for Corinne, too, will you, please? Thanks, Dotto. Working hard, getting thirsty. Working hard, getting thirsty. Working hard, getting thirsty. That girl is driving me crazy, man. <laughs> Better simmer down or you're gonna run her off. If she wanna go, she can go. That's fine with me. I like having her here. Yeah, you, me, I guess that guy, too. By like having me around. Absolutely, Clint. Dago, hook me up. Listen, Clint, I don't serve you until after 5. It's 5.02. It's 5.02. It's 5.02. Glenn, I think it's time to take those clothes to the laundromat. Time to work, time to drink. No time to go to the sink. Tomorrow, take two hours off your work day and go wash those clothes. OK, boss, tomorrow. I think you're starting to twitch, Stan. Come on, Stan. We have a lot of money right now, you man. <laughs> Ready for number eight? Tough guy? Get him some water. <laughs> 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 That's hard. That's hard. And the winner, Brazilian Bombshell! Jake's Corner. Fran, it's Gus. The sheriff. Fran, there's only one person who answers this phone, and there's only one person who calls this phone. And guess what? We're both on the phone. This is the fifth time that you've called today. You're the where the sun never shines. Johnny Dunn. Linus is back at the corner with a new pair of shades. Eh. Thought I'd come back and pursue my true calling. Stacking shelves and cleaning bait tanks. Welcome back, Linus. He just misses his mother. Don't we all? I know he comes to visit you every Sunday. Maybe he's planning on coming up later. Fran, this phone is for emergency use only. What? 
There's a bear outside your trailer. Come on, Fran. Take one of your pills and take a nap. B -b Better yet, take two of your pills. Yeah! What is it? Phone call. Yeah, this is Johnny Dunn. Are they alive? Are they alive? Just answer my question. I'm coming down there. That's him, Patrick. Your face, it's so clean. Her chest was pinned between the seats. She suffocated. It's Becky, my sister. Where's the boy? Johnny Dunn, the boy's uncle. Dr. Rivera. What's his status? He's stable. He suffered a severe concussion, a small laceration with eight stitches. We'd like to watch him for another 24 hours or so, and then he'll be able to go home. Go home? I'm sorry.
Yeah, I'd like to cancel my subscription to the newspaper, Patrick Walsh. That's it. Thanks. Carrie? Yes? This is Johnny Dunn. Oh, hi, Johnny. Is everything all right? You sound a little... What's going on? Your brother and my sister were killed in a car accident last night. What? To repeat that would be difficult. and survive the accident. <laughs> the boy needs a home. And since you have a home and a husband, and three other boys, and I live alone and keep uncle hours, you need to get down here as soon as possible. I'm not much of a phone person. So I'm gonna go now. Okay? Spence. I had a concussion, cut on his forehead, but he's okay. He's gonna be fine. Does he know? No. I have a suitcase with some of his clothes and rags. That dog is a shadow to him. They can't be separated. You have to take him to. I can't. What do you mean? We're adding on to our house. We're living in a hotel out of suitcases. It's chaos. My lifestyle is not suited for a little boy, Carrie. It would just be for a couple of months until the house is done. Believe me, I want to take him. He's my brother's son. run a bar. I live in a trailer in the middle of nowhere. You understand that? I think that you would be the best thing for him right now, Johnny. Patrick always says that Spence idolizes you. It's easy to idolize an uncle. I come and go as I please. An uncle's role is not to say no. here a long time ago now he's back is something wrong with him he just likes to walk with his head down how come the earth spins less like that for him
I had Gus call all of you here. Because I need to get something straight between everyone in this room. You probably know what happened to my sister. What you may not know is that their son, Spence, my nephew, he survived. And he's here, living with me, living with us for a while. He doesn't know his parents were killed. He thinks they're alive, getting well in a hospital, and we're not allowed to visit right now. That's what I told him. He's a boy, and he's been through a lot. The good thing is that uh, he doesn't remember anything from the accident. I want to keep it that way. For now. Ricky. Linus, you want to say something? So you want us to lie to the boy? Yeah. I do. I want you to lie. You're going to see him tomorrow, and he's going to walk around and say something to you, and I want you to lie to him. Don't you think he should know the truth? I think he should know the truth, and he will. But I will decide when the time and place is. Linus, sit down, shut up, and pay attention. That's OK. He's going to be working in the saloon. Bus boy. Teach him what you know. Treat him with compassion, as I know all of you will. But don't treat him with pity. He's a smart kid. You'll see the difference. I want the corner to be the corner, as it always is. Business as usual. So whatever you have to do to get ready, get ready. Here's your shares. I had a good month this month. Wheels. We pass them out. Dotto, you lock up. Ricky, we take the bag of groceries up to friends, put some of your mom's beans in it, and I couldn't find any in the cooler. She likes those beans. She does? I just made a new batch. I'll go get some. Okay. I never even met Spence. So what am I supposed to say, little boy? You say nothing. You just be yourself. John? How can this happen again? Gus. We go way back. Since our freshman year at U of A. And I've been blocking for you ever since, right? Right. So I can tell you how I feel inside, right? Right. Spence asleep? He is. I've been trying to hold it together. But it ain't easy, bro. Becky's gone. Don't think of me or Becky or what's happened in the past or why it's happening again. It just is. Think of Spence. He doesn't need his whole world turned upside down because you can't hold it together. Well, how are you going to do that? Gus, listen. Look at me. Trust me, I can deal with this. But I need your help. You know what I'm saying? 
Spencer's gonna look you right in the eye either tomorrow or the next day, and he's gonna talk to you about his mother. You know he will. You can't be sad in front of him, all right? All right. I know how much you care, Gus. I know how much you care. You can do this. All right. Gus. Remember the Stanford game, senior year? I fumbled the ball, you picked it up and ran the wrong way. I never asked you this, but didn't it feel strange that no one else was chasing you but me? I thought that you were cheering me on until you tackled me on a two-yard line. It's a tough decision. Either let you score two points for the wrong team or tackle you before you cross the line. Now it's third and 98. And the very next play, you run 98 yards for a touchdown. I-44 slot right off the left tackle. Big Gus McPhillamy, number 75 from Jersey. You pancaked that defensive end. I was gone. I was pissed. You were. See you tomorrow, Gus. Good night, bro. I'd like you to sleep inside with me tonight. Feeling sad. Why don't you sleep outside with me? There's too many creepy crawlers. I'll protect you. How the hell are you gonna protect me from my spider or scorpion? Spiders? Scorpions? If you don't feel safe with me, then you sleep inside. Fine. I'll sleep at my mom's. I'll still sleep outside. What's the big deal? You miss me one day. You know that? What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means nothing. I miss a lot of people that I never planned on missing. This is far enough for you. I'll take it from here. What's the big deal? I'm already here. Johnny said only me. You might scare her. Stay back. Give me the bag, please. Who is it? Friend, it's Ricky from the corner. Johnny want me to drop her some groceries for you. Who's with you? That's just me. I heard an angry man's voice out there. That's my boyfriend, Dado. Don't worry. Leave the bag on the steps and go away. Now go away! Angry man's voice? That woman is really crazy. You are angry. Let's go. I bought it. Who are you? I'm Linus. Like in Charlie Brown Linus? Yeah. Like in Charlie Brown Linus. Spelled different. I'm Spence. This is my dog, Rags. Like in Rags to Riches. I've never seen you here before. My mom is Peck. You look like my friend, Richie Dean. Is Richie Dean black? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Richie's mom was black and his dad was white. His dad ran away before he was born. Runaway dads. It's an epidemic. What's that? Richie Dean and I, we got a lot in common. My mom's a painter. Are you? I'm an artist. What's the difference? A painter paints things. An artist creates a work of art. Do artists wear dark sunglasses in the morning? What is it? It's Queen Kong. King Kong's brother. King Kong's brother's a queen? I'm afraid so. It looks like a mean queen. It's tough being called a queen when your brother's called a king. He doesn't like it, huh? No. 
Maybe he'll be called king one day. I doubt it. Spence, you gotta let me know when you go someplace. I don't have to tell my mom and dad when I go down the street. This isn't your street. It's a desert. And I don't get up early. King Kong has a brother named Queen. What? Queen Kong, look. Spence, would you do me a favor to go in the store and tell Peg I'd like a cup of coffee? Okay. Bye, Linus. Comrades. What is this? King Kong's brother. King Kong's brother, Queen. It's no big deal, Johnny. I was being me like you said to be. Okay, you're right. Thanks. I'm all sleeping in late like Elvis. Guess not. Clint, put some clothes on. They're in the wash. Did my nephew see you? Who? Get in the bathroom. What for? You're naked, Clint. <sighs> I know that, Johnny. Come on, get in here. Peg, where are the rain ponchos? Second aisle back, top shelf. Are we going fishing, Uncle Johnny? No, we're gonna feed Walter Payton. Who's Walter Payton? He's our pet bass. He survived the drought. Why are you wearing a rain poncho? It hasn't rained in 100 days. I don't know. Johnny thinks there's a storm coming or something. There's not one cloud in the sky. Clint, this is my nephew, Spence. Hi, little guy. Go finish the laundry, Clint. Uh, Pig, how long does it take to wash the clothes? Well, I never timed it, Clint, but I'd say around 30 minutes. Let's go, Spence. Thanks, Pig. See ya. Hey, Pig, can I have a Slim Jim and a Buttweiser? It's not 5 o'clock. Walter Payton swam for more yards than any other bass in history, from the big lake about 30 miles away, up the river, all the way to Jake's Corner. The river's empty. That's the thing about it. We found him just in time, in a tiny little puddle before the drought sucked the river dry. Wow, that's Walter Payton. Can I feed him? Yeah, that's one of your jobs, feeding Walter Payton every morning. Go ahead, grab one. Go in, man. Did you see that, Uncle Johnny? He got one. Yeah. I think he wants another one. I bet he does. Only three a day, though. Remember that. Now, we put the container under here. Keep it out of the sun, OK? OK. Now, let's go get some breakfast. We've got a big day of work ahead of us. Will Walter Payton ever go back to the big lake? Yeah, someday. But right now, he likes it here with us. And we like him here with us. Put up on the style spin. Rotator ring ding, Spence. Rotator ring ding. Five number table. What's five number table? Wills has his own language, Spence. Follow me. That was table number five. Rotator ring ding, that's what Wheels calls it. <laughs> no, forget that. See, I write all the table numbers on my tickets. Table one, it starts in the back corner, counting down from one to 12. What happened to your arm? We work in spans, pay attention. Table number eight needs clearing now. Two pitchers of beer, six glasses. Remember, towel in the pocket, dishes first. What the piss shit? First pitcher's on us. This is my nephew, Spence. It's his first day. Your nephew, Johnny? Yeah. Shit, no disrespect, huh? No problem. Sorry, kid. 
Didn't mean to curse up a street, but it's kind of cold and you, you got me in an awkward spot. You know, the ladies, they don't like it when a man wets himself. <laughs> Spence, Shoots, Flaps, Stacy, and Courtney. They're, they're regulars. Howdy, Spence. You're a cutie, darling. Let's get back to it. Make some room. Let's get the kids some work. Get the plates. Get on here. Get the plates. Get work. There you go. Okay, let's go. Take your dirty plates, glasses, and silverware and put it in the tub here, okay? Okay. Go ahead. Take your time, Spence. Don't rush or you're gonna spill it like you just did. Don't grab more than you can handle. If it takes three or four trips to be safe, take three or four trips, okay? Now go wipe down that table. Pools are up. Steak bleeding on the bumper load. Crappie duck hiding underneath. Swimming in the streamline, Spence. Wheels is a wheelin'. Wheels is a wheelin'. How you doing today, eight? Same here. I want to welcome a new member of the family here to Jake's Corner. He's a little man working his butt off over there. His name is Spence. I want you to treat him right and put a few coins in his pocket for his hard work. Don't be stingy, folks. And be sure not to report us to child labor. <laughs> this one's for the little man. I like living. The grass is green and the sun is big in the sky. I'm just sitting on the front porch steps Watching the world go by With a cool, cool breeze Rustling through the leaves Been a while since waking up Has felt this good to me I've lived a lot of days like this one Don't know why today is different There's only one good And you still haven't crossed my mind And I like living for the first time In a long, long time Cup of coffee Almost empty but it looks half full today and the clouds, instead of showers, I'll bet they'll just bring shade. And a beautiful girl just walked on by. When I smiled, today she stopped and said hello this time. I've lived a lot of days like this one. Don't know why today is different. There's only one girl. The first time in a long, long time. It's gonna be five pretty soon. I've been picking up trash since noon. It's only 4.30. You're not allowed in the bar till 5. The corner's clean, the garbage is in the garbage, and I'll swap flies for 30 minutes if, if you want. Don't tell John. Don't 
about Johnny. Hello. Wanna play some Uno? What's Uno? Any of the same color or number? What's the point of this game? You gotta pick up more cards then. I still don't get it. It's simple, pick up more cards. <laughs> Clint, shut the hell up. Are you playing this game? Don't be a mope. What the hell is mope? Yeah, don't be a mope. Don't be a mope. <laughs> Clint, you better shut the hell up, or I'm going to start acting like the United Nations and put some sanctions on your ass. Finally. What now, little boy? Pick up four more. Four more, pick them up, pick them up, four more. <laughs> Why did I let you in before five? I just don't know. But now United Nations has got their shit together and got a new resolution, which means you gotta go. I'll be silent like eight seconds. You got eight seconds to get up and go. Dadu, he'll be good. Yeah, I'll be good. No, he won't. You gotta go, Clint. I'm serious, Clint. I'll be good. You better go. Clint, come back after five. Why can't he be in here before five? Because everything has rules, like this game we're playing. Johnny Dunn for Becky Walsh. Very nice to meet you, sir. Uh, won't you please step in here and have a seat? Johnny eight. How come eight seconds never talks? You win ten rodeo championships. There's no need to talk. You talk funny. What do you mean I talk funny? I'm from Bosnia. Where's that? Far away. Is that your home? Bosnia? It was. Until they kicked us out. Who kicked you out? Our neighbors. There was a war. It's very complicated. What's complicated? This game. What the hell? Where's Green? Did your mom and dad live in Bosnia? No. Where do they live? They were killed in the war. How come you weren't killed? That's a good question. I guess I was lucky when I survived. I'm glad you did. Uno. What's that mean? It means I have one card left. Spencer, your grilled cheese with beans is ready. No beans. No beans. No beans. Okay, I'm almost done. What do you mean you're almost done? Your turn. Always a hope, never a mope. I win. 
You win? This is it? This is the end of the game? Don't be a mop, always a hope. What the hell is that? Johnny? Hey, Corinne. How are you doing? I, uh, I just came up here to... I know. I just need some time alone with him right now. I understand. It rained last night. Yeah, it woke me up out of my dream. Yeah. <laughs> woke me up, too. I was sleeping out in my hammock. Should have slept in that poncho Johnny gave me. What happened to your head? I got an accident. Is that why you're here? I'm staying with my uncle till my parents get better in the, the hospital. You look sad. No, I don't. Are you sad for Walter Payton? Why would I be sad for Walter Payton? He's a fish. I'm sad for all huérfanos. Fish, animals, lizards, tarantulas. Except flies. Flies bothered us at the... Orfadad when we were little. What's an orfadad? It's a place where huérfanos go. What's a huérfano? Huérfano. <laughs> Kids that don't have families. Are you a huérfano? Not no more. I have to go. I have to clean up the rest of the corner. You have a good day, okay? Okay. I want to go home, Uncle Johnny. What's going on? I want to go visit my mom and dad right now. We can't go visit them right now. Why not? Right now, we just can't. Why? Soon. We'll go visit him soon, OK? I think I dreamed about the accident. Yeah? My head hurts. Let me see. Where does it hurt? It just hurts. Look at me. Can you see me all right? I want to go home, Uncle Johnny. Let's get ready and go see Doc. Come on. How many stitches have you taken out of people's heads before? Lots. And I put lots in. Doc was a medic in the war. In Dodo's war? No, in Johnson and Nixon's war. Who's Willie? Willie? Oh, Willie was a dear friend of the corner who's not with us anymore. Is Willie one of the loved ones on the wall inside the bar? Yeah, he is. How come Grandma and Grandpa's names aren't on the wall? Because they never stayed here. But they're loved ones. Hold still, buddy. All right, that's the last one. You're going to have a scar, but no need to worry about it. Everybody's got one. And if they say they don't, they're lying. Let me see. All right, you're all right. Head straight. Now, head straight. Follow my finger. 
Oh, looks like the rain last night brought a friend out. No need to be frightened. You don't hurt them, they won't hurt you. Put your hand out and you'll have a new friend. No. Spence, go get your tip money. We'll take a drive to Pace and you can buy yourself something for all that hard work you've been doing. Can I buy something for rags? You can buy whatever you want for whoever you want. It's your money. You worked hard for it. OK. I had a dream about the accident last night. Could it be a memory and not a dream? More than likely, yes. Hope it's a dream. He needs to remember so he can choose to forget, John. Johnny, Fran keeps ringing me on the phone. She says there's a bear outside her trailer. There's a bear outside her trailer. Do you hear me, bro? She's killing me. You hear me? Maybe there is a bear. There is no bear. Just a thought. Wheels, two burgers, two dogs. Flames are heating on the fire burner. What? Times are taken. I don't understand anything you say. You forgot to knock. I, I don't want to disturb you. Pick up the bag and bring it in. Hurry. There. I bought that doll from an artist in Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo, Brazil? Is there another Sao Paulo? That's where I grew up. My father lives there. Yes, I know. Put the bag here. And sit. I've made some tea. Do not need your help. Sit down. On the couch. This time, you listened to Johnny, and you came alone. Daru is a good man. I said that he was an angry man. Not a bad man. He's had a tough life. So have you. Daru loves me, and I love him. He's unsure of where he sleeps. And oh. if you really love him, you don't know me or Dado. I know you. I have filled your cup. Now, you fill my cup. Would you care for a cookie? How come you never visit the coroner? Mm, I'm an old dog. And I just like playing with puppies. Johnny sent you to me. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you think I mean? I'm out of here. Don't leave, OK? Don't. There is a bear out there. Shut the door. Shut the door. Shut it. Shut the door. No, there is not. Yes. Look, come here. Uh huh. Look. See? I don't see anything. I'm enjoying your company. Sit. I know why Clint walks with his head down. Why is that? So he doesn't step on any lizards, tarantula, or faunas. Or faunals? Orphans. I don't want that. I want this. Is this your team jersey? Yeah, that's right. Kansas City Chiefs. There's no number on it. They put the number on for you. What's your number? Maybe you want to pick your own. What's your number? 29. I'll take this. All right, take that. Is that your son? <laughs> no. 
every Sunday, Johnny comes to visit me. And I make him a grilled cheese sandwich with a side of ketchup. And every Sunday, he rests his thoughts on my lap. Lately, his thoughts have been restless, and my Sundays have been vacant. Did something happen to your son? When loved ones die, we search for their spirits in others. A mother finds her son. A son finds his mother. A brother searches for his sister. Maybe my time at the corner is just a rest stop for me. Maybe I need something more. You need to be needed. One needs your love to melt his anger. The other needs your spirit to lessen his pain. into you. Cities can suck your soul with no resting place. You caught yours just before it was stolen from you for good. I thought about my mom. I thought about how sad she would be if something happened to me. So I came back to the corner to stay with her. And look what you found. You don't have to search for a home that you already have. Here. <laughs> Uno. Uno? Uno. Pick a four. Oh, bitch, go back to them in different shapes and sizes. And it's door. The one inside is the Hey, love you. I'm playing Una, baby. I made you some lunch. Friend invited me in this time. How's she doing? Her Sundays are vacant. Thanks for lunch. It's a priceless thing that they provide us. The fire in our heart, the light in our eyes. Nice. So we never really have to say goodbye. Johnny Cash and C.S. Lewis, John Wayne, JFK. 
It's up to you and me go, go. to keep the dream alive when the evil dies. Take them all the way in, all right? Take it, take off. It's up to you and me to keep the dream alive when the hero dies. Chief semi-slide driving? Good morning to you on the lifter side, or what? Or what what? Or what what that? What are you doing here? My brakes reverse cycle. What does that mean? 18 wheels rolling like raging waters. Found its reservoir here, like a deer in the headlights. You're a truck driver? Was when, was then. Can you take me to my home? It's permanently disabled free. Here I live and sleep like a booster chair. Like a booster chair? Yeah, come on, let me show you. Home rides the wheel bells. Wheels is a wheel. Keep your peeper twins folded. Hey, a pinball machine. Pinball as I hold for the makers. Go ahead. It's a freebie jingle. The flippers are broken. It's a freebie jingle. Sun, it shrieks the innards of the pupils. Can you see Phoenix? Phoenix, south, west, south. Mountains run high on the glacier front. Were you drinking for America last night? Going for the gold? Did you eat for America? Seen Spence? Lost again. No, I just like bothering people. Gummy bears. Healthy breakfast. Sexy shorts. Yeah. <laughs> hey, wait for the big guy. That's where Phoenix is? Road winds like a rattler. West-south to Phoenix you fly. How do you know which way is west and south? Wake up, the sun does rise east. Falling west to rest and sleep. Right of west, North you go, backwards from north, south, you'd be like a banjo player. Do that again. Wake up, the sun does rise east, falling west to rest and sleep. Right of west, north you go, backwards from north, south, you'd be like a banjo player. Like a banjo player. Like a banjo player. Taking a piss, John. I hope so. 
You seen Spence? No, I haven't seen him. Guess I'd be gentle waking him. What are you talking about? Gato! Oh, ah! oh! It's me, Gus! That, that's what I'm talking about. Are you stupid or something, Gus? What's going on here? Spence is missing again. Don't worry about it. I'll go find him. Relax. Huh. Bingo! He's with my mom. Spence? Spence, what are you doing here? Eating pancakes. Hey, you guys want some pancakes? You bet. All right, I will help you, Mom. Okay. Who's ready? I am. Dodo, how come you sleep outside? Because there's more room outside. Why don't you sprinkle some gummy bears on top? Good idea, bro. I forgot I had them. So, I wrote my mom and dad a letter. Can you send it? Yeah, I'll send it. What time is it? I don't know. Day or night? It's morning. It's light outside. I'm still staring at my eyelids. There's a lady on the phone that says there's a bear buyer trailer. Don't answer the phone, Spence. I already answered it, Gus. How long are you going to wear that jersey? From now on. She can wait. I'm getting dressed. 
What'd she say? Same thing she always says. There's a bear outside her trailer. How come you haven't asked about my mom? What? You always ask about my mom and say the same thing over and over again. Am I your mom's favorite? I say, besides me, my dad, and my Uncle Johnny, you're her favorite. Where's Riggs? Right there. How come he doesn't have a leash? He doesn't need one. My mom said you beat up a jerk at one of Uncle Johnny's football games. Yeah. Some slapdick was trying to make her feel uncomfortable, so... I made him feel uncomfortable. What's a slapdick? It's a jerk. Hey, don't you repeat that word near your uncle. He'll get upset with me. A jerk? No, slapdick. Gus, what are you looking for? I forgot which rock it was that I put the patrol car key under. Is that rock you're standing on? How am I supposed to see that? This is reverse, OK? And now there's the brake. Now we put it in low. How did you get to become sheriff? Your uncle gave me a sheriff's badge. Yeah! What if there is a bear? There's not. Who is it? Sheriff. I sent someone else. Does she sense the bear? There is no bear. Who's with you? Spencer, Johnny's nephew. <sighs> you have a fresh scar. Johnny doesn't visit me anymore. He works hard and sleeps late. We're leaving, Fran. Gus, you've just arrived. Come in. In order for us to come in, you have to let us in? No dogs. They shit on the floor. He's house trained. Does this look like a house to you? He's trailer trained, too, Fran. Shut the door. There's no bear, Fran. It's not safe, Gus. Close the door. Close the door, Gus. OK, be comfortable. Sit. Oh. Did you see the bear today? Lately, I have seen him every day. What's he do? He wanders and wanders around. No one else has seen him. Oh, he's there. Some people just don't want to see him, do they, Gus? Whatever you say, Fran. Linus painted that. Queen Kong. Linus painted all the pictures. Queen Kong? King Kong's brother. It was a bad accident, wasn't it, Charlie? Give the boy some room, Fran. Linus told me all about you. All right, Spence, let's go. What did he tell you? Well, he said you're a nice boy. And that he is so, so sad. About what? About the accident. Well, Fran, that's enough, OK? I'm okay. Everyone's okay. My mom and dad are okay. Right, Gus? Right, Spence. Spence, how would you like a grilled cheese sandwich with some ketchup? I'm gonna make you one, okay? No, I don't want one. I don't like that painting. Artists paint what they see. 
It's ugly. All his paintings are ugly. I hope there is a bear out here, and he eats you. Nice going, friend. Spence, get back here! Why would you take him up there? I thought he could be my deputy. What are you, a Saturday morning cartoon? I screwed up, I know. I'm sorry, bro. Linus, seen Spence? No. Why would you paint a picture of the boy and his dog? That was stupid. Easy, Gus, easy. What's he talking about? Don't worry about it. Spence saw your painting up in France. Hi, right, Spence. Your uncle and Gus are looking for you. Why do you always wear sunglasses? Because the sun's bright. How come your paintings never have the sun in them? My mom always has the sun in her paintings. I like them way better than yours. Can I get you boys something to drink? Boys? You get it at the bar, sweetheart. Cut out the broker. <laughs> I would never be your sweetheart, boy. <laughs> she likes you a lot. Get going, dude. Gonna take that shit from a foreigner. Shut up, man. That bar Fran didn't mean to upset you. She's just upset with me because I haven't had the time to go up and visit her lately. Now, if you work really hard, this will be yours. A brand new hundred dollar bill. It will be waiting for you right here under the motorcycle. How does that sound? Good. Always a hope. Never a hope. Go on back. Back. Shirley Temple. Drink it or ice your head with it. Just drink it. Hey, you guys won't believe who I just saw. Who? Johnny Dunn. There he is. Who? U of A, Johnny Dunn, Heisman winner. Oh, I remember that guy. I think he runs this place. He's got his Heisman as a doorstop. I think I'm gonna go get an autograph from my dad. No autographs. Check this out. I've got an idea. I know what you're thinking. You need something? Got a cold one. I asked him, dog. What's with the face paint? First of all, it's war paint. Yeah, right. I'm a soldier doing recon train in the desert. Getting ready for Iraq. Good luck. You Russian? No, I'm not Russian, man. Hey, Old Man River, how you doing? As he pounded out the good ones And the crowd called out for more I ain't seen nothing like hey. since And I probably Rick. never will Is your father Johnny Dunn? No, he's my uncle Well, you know, my dad was a huge fan of your uncle What's that say on your shirt? Oh, they're Greek letters It's the name of my fraternity When you get older and go to college Never join one Your friends are asking for trouble. Hey, 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 hey,
over. You guys move out. Move out. Look, everything's cool. Uncle Johnny, you took the It's a paintball, Dodo. What do you mean, paintball? It's a war game. Are you serious? Johnny, let's go get those punks. No, forget it. Forget it. I think I got one with my spear. Good, plan. Good. They can't see your Heisman. All right, everyone, let's go inside. No one's hurt. Let's go. Come on. Back inside. Johnny, if it'd been my gold buckle those boys stole, I'd throw a rope around them and tie them to a herd of buffalo and bring that trophy back here where it belongs. Teach those boys a lesson. Listen up, Pledges. We've discovered a lost relic of the enemy. U of A Johnny Dunn's Heisman Trophy. Those of you still standing after the firing squad will have the honor of destroying this relic in front of the enemy's sidelines during tomorrow's game. This is wrong. Where are the other fraternity brothers? Did you clear this with the council? Stand down, soldier. This is a secret mission. Do you even know what happened to Johnny Dunn's sister? I said, stand down, soldier. You know, when we got back, I looked up on the internet and found out that his parents and now his sister. Ah! Stop! Stop! That's against the rules! Get up. I'll oh, hit you even harder. Give me back my hundred. Now. Almost got your head blown off today by my sheriff. Stupid move. Next time you go into some place, know what kind of room you're in. Who's in that room? Almost died today. You have no idea how lucky you are, man. No idea. Hey, Flaps. Want a cold beer? I could use one. Pour us a couple. Get to it. Sorry I didn't have the balls to stop him. Um, sorry about your family, too. All right. Let's get out of here. says it all. Says, look out, fellas. I got the ball. Here I come. You miss the game, don't you? No, I don't miss the game. I miss playing for my parents. They love watching me play. Ricky told me they died in a plane crash. Yeah, they did. I had a feeling that day that something was wrong. They always arrived at my games early, you know, just to watch us warm up. I'd always look up in the stands and show them that I knew that they were there. After the game, the coach said I had a phone call. It's my sister, Becky. She was hysterical. Said my dad's plane was missing. They found it the next day, crashed in the Sierras. I had my best game as a pro that day. Rushed for 210 yards, four touchdowns. <laughs> we blew out the Niners. My parents would have loved to see that. When they died, football died for me too. Everything else. Yeah, after seeing my parents burn in that house, 
not being able to help them. Just couldn't stay there anymore. I said, hell with everything. I need to get out of this place. I'm glad you're here, Dondo. Cheers. I gotta tell him soon, real soon. Taking it too far. Just don't know how. I don't know what to tell you, man. I only know that life goes on. Like Heisman runs. Forward. Everything okay? Yeah. Did you get the Heisman bit? We got it. I was spent. It's quiet. Linus. Someone stole my ATV. He cut the bolt? No, they must have found my hiding spot. Did Spence know where that is? Maybe he might have saw it one time. He might have. Why would he take the ATV? Road winds like a rattler. Left on 87 to Phoenix to fly. Boy's going home. He wouldn't know how to get home. Took a look-see through the telescope like a banjo player. Like a banjo player? How much gas was in the ATV? It's practically on empty. I couldn't have gotten too far, man. You guys see anything? Nothing, Johnny. Got a view vision. Wheels got something. Bro, the engine's cold. We looked around, no sign of him. Went to the highway to get a ride. God forbid nothing happens to that kid, man. Thanks, Big Joe. You tell that church group that God's gonna rain down on them for leaving you behind. That'll scare the bejeebers out of them. <laughs> I hope the Cubs win the World Series. Me too, little man. Me too. Be safe. Do you 
think it's unkind to suppose that the desert's no home for a rose. Guess I always wish I could know things that you never told me. Sometimes it's so real I could swear. I can see you standing right there with the sand in your eyes and your hair all windblown. What a welcome sight you would be tonight always. I'm not coming back early. Whisper I hear on the cliff, like a ghost. I remember. I remember now. I'm opening to breathe. She was trying to talk to me, but she couldn't breathe. So sorry you had to go through this. I couldn't tell you. I didn't want you to go through this. I know how bad it hurts. It hurts bad. up, sit at the end of your bed in front of the Heisman and take a good look at it and think about your mom and dad and the way they raised you to be strong, to be kind, to take that football and tuck it hard underneath your arm so no one can ever knock it out and run with it like you're playing in front of a packed stadium with your mom and dad sitting on the 50 yard line watching you play every day. They'll be watching you, Spence, every day cheering you on every day you remember that never a mope always a hope
So we grew up together, my mama, child, and me. Now things were bad and she was scared, but whenever I would cry, she'd calm my fears and dry my tears with a rock and roll lullaby. And she would sing, Sha na 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 na, it'll be alright. Sha na 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 na. Streamline on the bumper load. Wheels is a wheeling. Wheels is a wheeling. My, 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 my mama. Here you go, handsome. Thanks, babe. 4-8. This game's ridiculous. I'm doing okay It feels really good to be me I might not be rich But I've got all the goods That anyone ever would need But all of that stuff Doesn't add up To what I hold dear in my heart It's all just stuff To help me get by It's not the best things in my life Cause the best things in life aren't things They're people and places And memories of faces we love Little magical moments in time When everything shines And the angels sing The best things in life aren't Be 
before dark My first home run Clearing the fence Singing along To a James Taylor song As Emily Jones and I dance My brother and I On our cross-country drive Being splashed by the salt of the sea My first kiss good night in the next morning light And hearing my sweet friend new baby girl cry Oh, the best things in life aren't things They're people and places and memories of faces we love Little magical moments in time When everything shines and the angels sing things in life are So when life gets too crazy, then here's your reminder to slow down and take some time to remember the best things in life are things they're in places and memories of faces we love little magical moments in time when everything shines and the angels 